Okay, so this time I'm going to illustrate angle-angle side congruence. And we're going to need two transparencies. The first transparency is going to be a construction to copy segment AB. Here I'll just draw a ray here. And I'll use my compass to measure. There's the intersection. And then I need to copy this angle A. So I'm using my compass and my marker to carefully draw Okay, that looks good Then I'm going to measure the width of the angle And copy that over. Okay, so there's our copy segment and angle. Now I'm going to copy angle C on a different transparency. And I hope you're following along with these constructions. If you do enough of these, it becomes almost routine to copy angles, copy segments, and that kind of thing. Okay, so there we have our copied angle. Let's take a look at what we have here. 
There's triangle ABC. Here we have two angles and a non-included side. So what we have to do is we have to try and make a triangle out of this. So we make a triangle is we have to line everything up. So these two rays are lined up, and you're intersecting the point here. So the question is, does that make a congruent triangle to triangle ABC? Well, let's take a look. Kind of moved a little bit here. Looks pretty good, right? So the point is, there's only one way to form a triangle if you have two angles and a non-included side. You have to make these rays line up so they overlap and you also have to make sure that the other ray down here, the one pointing vertically, intersects the point so that this segment right here is the correct length. So here you can have angle, angle, side and as you can see there's only one way to form a triangle. See if you move this around any other way, the triangle is not going to be defined with either the correct angle measure. Well, for example, that's not even a triangle. So to be a triangle, those two rays have to overlap, and then you have to translate so that this segment right here is the correct length. And if you do all those things, it does define a triangle, so that's why angle-angle-side congruence works.